Hello, I'm Sue Merrick, and I'm here today with Patrick Lopez. Patrick is the Global VP Product Management at 5G at NEC Corp. And we're going to talk a little bit about the benefits of Open RAN today. So, Patrick, thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me, Sue. So let's start, start out. Why don't you first tell us a little bit about NEC and your company's offerings for 5G operators? Uh, certainly. So NEC is a large uh, Japanese conglomerate uh, who has been involved in um, a lot of different verticals um, and is present in healthcare, in uh, retail, uh, and uh, construction, uh, and financial uh, services. Telecommunication is one of uh, the areas of interest and uh, of focus for, uh, for NEC. And within te telecommunications, we say that NEC does pretty much everything from you know, the bottom of the seafloor all the way to the space, uh, because uh, NEC is uh, a manufacturer and operator of uh, submarine cables, for instance, um, and also uh, provides uh, elements of telecommunications for satellites. Um, and pretty much everything in between. Uh, so uh, as it pertains to our networks, uh, NEC uh, is a full spectrum vendor of uh, telecom uh, equipment, so telecom equipment manufacturers. Um, so that means uh, radio uh, products, uh, open RAN radio products, uh, open RAN software, as well as uh, uh, core, uh, packet core uh, products. Um, as well, you might know that uh, Netcracker is a wholly owned subsidiary of NEC and as such uh, a leader in OSS, BSS, uh, as well as uh, uh, service management, orchestration and automation. Um, and uh, NEC also uh, has a vast uh, ecosystem of partners uh, in the area of transport. So we provide them to our products uh, in 5G. And NEC is also a systems integrator. So we actually don't only deploy our products, but we assemble and integrate products from the ecosystem and also from our competitors in order to provide end-to-end -end solutions for our customers uh, across basically all the different uh, categories that I mentioned. Now, why you mentioned Open RAN, and, and that's kind of the topic of this discussion. So, why has NEC taken such a strong position on Open RAN? Um, I think there are several factors. Uh, the first, NEC has been a pioneer in open and disaggregated networks. Um, I think that probably the company was the first company to commercialize uh, an open flow uh, SDN controller. Uh, when OpenFlow was adopted. Um, so it's been a long trend in the company because we believe that basically uh, for networks uh, to reach the promise of 5G, uh, they need to be composable, they need to be um, uh, program uh, programmable, and therefore they need to be software defined. And in order to do that, you need to basically disaggregate uh, a lot of different uh, solutions that were until now provided by single vendors in a monolithic architecture. Um, and Open RAN is just one of those trends uh, in the sense that uh, RAN uh, until now was provided by vendors in vertical uh, monolithic implementation, um, which was great for performance uh, and stability, but uh, maybe not as well as good for uh, innovation uh, and uh, for also creating solutions that fit to market. Why should um, communication service providers adopt Open RAN sooner rather than later? Because um, I think we went through different phases in Open RAN, uh, from discovery to uh, enthusiasm. Uh, maybe a little trough of dissolution uh, as well, and now we're uh, we're reaching the the plateau of uh, implementation. I don't think that anyone contests any longer that open run is going to happen. It's not a matter of if; uh, it's a matter of when. Um, and um, open run brings a range of benefits, but it requires a number of transformations uh, because the large majority of open run. Uh, uh, solutions out there are also cloud native. Uh, it requires basically a network that is able to uh, host a cloud native environment. 
in order to get the best benefits of it. Uh, so it requires a lot of new skills uh, and a, new, a lot of new technologies that operators need to uh, be familiar with and adopt. Uh, so, well, the sooner you start on that journey, the better it is because we know it's happening um, and uh, there's a great benefit of actually uh, starting this new technology in a small island, in a small uh, greenfield environment, because basically you can do that without disrupting the rest of your network and learn from it and then scale it up. Now, some people in the industry think that Open RAN momentum is building too slowly. What does NEC think about that? Um, I think we need to put things in perspective, right? Um, if we look at uh, other technologies that have uh, grown in uh, telecoms um, and the wave of implementation of them, I think Open Run has been actually very fast. Uh, you know, if you remember a few years ago when NFV was introdu introduced and operators basically created a, a manifesto asking for networks to be more cloud oriented. Um, I mean, that revolution is not finished yet. We're still working through it uh, as an industry uh, to uh, basically cloudify the network, separate hardware from software, uh, virtualize uh, the software, and then put it into a microservice uh, architecture. That, that has been going on for the last 10 years, probably, eight years. Um, by contrast, Open RAN appeared uh, probably, I mean, in my previous career, um, uh, some of my teams were deploying things that were Open RAN before they were called Open RAN and then went on to write the first Open RAN RFP at TIP. Um, and that was just what? five years ago, six years ago, and between the first concept and slides to the creation of TIP, to the creation of uh, the ORAN Alliance, to uh, the first deployments, not in labs, but actually the first deployment live, um, and then deployment at scales uh, at NTC Docomo, at Rakuten Mobile, uh, as well as the progress that has been made at DISH, at Drillish, at Telefonica, we've seen uh, I, I think that's probably one of the technology that has grown the fastest and has penetrated our telecoms market the fastest uh, in, in my in my career. Now, are there any takeaways that we can um, get from the open network deployments that can maybe help with future developments? Um, yes, yeah, certainly. Uh, I think, as I mentioned, open run is a convergence of a number of technologies. Um, and the, the main finding is that to take the best advantage of Open RAN, uh, you need to actually take advantage of the disruption that a cloud native network brings. Um, so if you are going to deploy Open RAN uh, like traditional RAN, and if you're going to manage Open RAN like traditional RAN, uh, you're going to have marginal benefits from it uh, because the, the promise uh, and the benefit of Open RAN is to be able to be deployed in a cloud native and managed in a cloud native fashion, uh, which means implementing CICD, uh, which means implementing um, on demand uh, deployment of function and scale in, scale out of those functions. Um, and when you hear that, you understand that uh, basically, it's a structural effort that is necessary that requires maybe new skills um, and a little bit of help. And those companies that have deployed open RAN commercially at scale, uh, we can see they have a cost structure and they have uh, a uh, management uh, um, operational profile that's very different uh, from the traditional one. And, and they, do, they derive great benefits from it. Uh, in terms of savings cost, uh, in terms of uh, power consumption, uh, in terms of innovation and being able to introduce new services faster. Um, so the, the, the main, uh, the main uh, finding, if you want, is that uh, operators need to get started on this journey uh, fast and they need to get started on particularly the cloud 
uh, infrastructure aspect of it. And Open RAN is just one use case of that. There are others, obviously, uh, but the faster operators can create a cloud fabric uh, that creates a, a network as a service infrastructure, the better they can use Open RAN uh, to their benefit. Great. Thank you so much for joining us today, Patrick. That was very interesting. Thank you very much, Sue. It was uh, great speaking with you again. Take care. Thanks.